Today I'm showing you how to make this chewy, delicious, classic oatmeal raisin cookie. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These cookies will be ready before you know it, so let's get started. First off, let's get our dry ingredients together, starting with one cup of all-purpose flour. That is 120 grams if you're measuring. For a bit of leavening, I'm adding half a teaspoon of baking soda, and for some nice contrast, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt. You be careful at home, because if you have super fine salt, half a teaspoon will taste like one teaspoon. So try and use a standard salt size, like kosher salt or a sea salt with a grain that's a little bit larger. Super fine can be dangerous. Lastly, we have one half of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. In you go. Our scale is done. Whisk this up and set it aside. It's time to cream that butter and sugar. One half of a cup of unsalted butter, to which I will add one third of a cup of granulated sugar. And I'm gonna give this a start before I add the brown sugar. Okay, that was a good start. I like to cream my granulated sugar and butter first before I add the brown sugar, just because I feel like the brown sugar kind of forms more of a paste than a fluffy mixture. So I wanna give it a head start. My second tip for using brown sugar is the clumping factor. It's really nice just to break it up with your hands. You can feel a couple clumps in here that are gonna get broken up and they won't form like a big sugar ball in my cookie. Okay. Cream this up one more time, and we're gonna go for a homogenous, light, fluffy mixture. You might need to scrape the bowl down. Okay, I wanna show you. This is now a lighter, fluffier mixture. That's what it should look like. This means it's time to add in one large room temperature egg. Whenever you're adding eggs to cookies, it's a good idea for them to be room temperature. They just mix better. While this goes, I'm gonna mix in one and a half teaspoons of a nice vanilla extract. There we go. I'm seeing a loose eggy mixture. You're seeing a buttery solid one on the side. You have to scrape the bowl down. Okay. Mix it up one more time. Okay, that looks great. All you have to do now is Add your flour in. I like to give my cookies a head start, meaning I'm gonna use my spatula and just fold the dry ingredients into the wet. Mix on low until almost combined. You're gonna see some bits of flour hanging out here and there, but that is okay. Mix, mix, mix. That's good. I see a ton of flour, but that's fine. One and a half cups of rolled oats. In case you don't know, rolled oats are just the bigger oat, not quick oats. In you go. Now we're adding one cup of raisins, and I have to tell you, I am not a raisin fan. I don't like them, <laughs> except in certain circumstances, and this cookie is one of them. Oatmeal raisin cookies get such a bad rap from the prepackaged ones you buy at the store. I'm adding in just about half a cup of lightly chopped toasted walnuts, a favorite addition to this cookie. You could add in any nuts or omit them. It's totally up to you. Okay, right now we're gonna mix this until just combined and I'm gonna finish it off by hand. Just mix on low just a little bit. Okay, that looks great. I'm very tempted to eat this dough raw. It actually tastes good, but I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna chill this for at least an hour and I wanna talk to you about the chill time just really quickly. Don't skimp on the chill time because the cookie's flavor kind of comes together a bit more and they will be a bit more cakey and chewy. Cover it up and pop it into the fridge. We'll be back with the magic of editing. Once your dough is chilled, preheat that oven to 375 Fahrenheit and you're ready to scoop them out. We're gonna have about like heaping tablespoon sized pieces of, well, <laughs> heaping tablespoon sized pieces of dough for our cookies. And if you want, you can roll them out as well just to help bring them together and make sure there's no big pockets of air inside. Scoop them, roll them, and place them about two inches apart so they have room to spread. My cookies are ready to bake at 375 for eight to 10 minutes until the edges are golden brown. The centers will continue to set and bake through after they're removed from the oven. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my classic cookie playlist. That was 
everything you want an oatmeal cookie to be and more. I'll see you in the next video.